Hi guys, it's me Swastik and this is part 1 of how to make an economy system for your Discord bot in Python. So let's begin. Discord made some changes to the website and now you cannot directly access the applications. So to get, the, to, get to this page, you need to directly enter this link which is discord.com slash developers slash applications and the links will be in the description below as well. So I made an application and I added the bot to the server and I'm just gonna start coding. So if you don't know how to do this stuff, you should probably watch this video in the card. This is explaining all the basics. So after you're done with that, you can come back and watch this. So I also wrote some kind of basic code, which is simply importing the stuff, importing the modules, then setting the command prefix, adding the token and having a basic command. So we can just start with the economy system. So the way we actually store our the way we actually store our data for the users is through a JSON file. So to make a new file, we'll make a new file. Right click on your, like this is, I'm using Sublime Text. So this is how I'll make one. So put one brackets. These, this is how JSON files are structured. So then save that. And I'm gonna save this as main. So I'm gonna call it bank, I guess. You can call it main bank, main bank dot JSON main bank dot json and so json files are read as dictionaries in python so you need to import some stuff the first thing is json the library and also need to import the os and just to make sure that we're in the correct directory os.chdir then the path so the path is gonna be for me it's i'm just gonna write my path so I added my path and you can also add your own path from this link up top and make sure you add your one because my one is not going to work for you. Okay, so let's make our commands. So let's make the decorators. So client.command and it should be command. Then async def balance. So this is going to be for checking the balance. Now you need to pass in ctx and that's it now inside of this balance command this is going to be used for checking how much money you have we need to first open an account for the user right await now i'm going to be using helper functions to do this stuff and helper functions are simply functions user defined functions that are not commands like discord does not recognize them discord will not use them as commands but we will be able to use them so we'll make a command called open account and we will pass in the author. So we haven't made it right now. I'm just gonna make it after I'm done th with this. So we're gonna open this account. So let's actually make this helper function. Now when, when you're making helper functions, make sure you do not add these decorators on top because it won't work otherwise. So simply just write async def, the name of the command, which is open account and cdx.author cdx oh not author sorry the user that you want to open the account for so inside of this we will first we will get the data so we'll open the file so to do that it's with open the name of the file so for me it's main bank dot json as read mode and as f so this is the file name we just open this with the file name of f so users the users dictionary like i said will be json.load the file so this will just give us the uh, data for the users and then we can do stuff with the users now the way i store the user inside of this bank is through their id so I'm just gonna store it like this. So I'm just gonna check first that they're already not there. If they already have an account inside the bank, we do not wanna make another account. So I'm just gonna check if uh, string user.id is in the users, then we do not need to do anything. I'm just gonna return false then. Return, not reduce, sorry. Return false, return false and 
otherwise if they don't have an account let's open an account for them so the way we open the account is simply getting the users then accessing the name at the string and then we will access the wallet and that will be initialized to zero you can give them some money to start with i guess and also a bank for them sorry a bank so this is what i do myself then just do this with open just need to copy this because it's almost the same now we're going to be storing this so it's going to be with open main book main bank dot json as write mode this time and th this line is going to be changed it is json dot dump this is the f uh, this is the name of the function users inside of f so this should work for us they should open an account for everyone who already does not have an account if they have an account this just simply returns false let's return true because we want to check this i don't know so you might want to check this later so i'm just going to do this right now so you can also then check for this so you can have a variable store the results of this so you can later check if they have an account or not i don't know you could use this for telling them i guess you don't have an account but we since we are just opening an account for them we can just ignore that now let's check their balance let's also open let's just open this again now you could also store this inside of another like another helper function like get bank data so let's just do that it's just going to reduce the amount of code that we use so let's just make another one async def get bank data get bank data and inside we just simply do this right and we return the users we will return the users and then we can instead of writing all this code more than once we can simply just the users will be we can await that await get bank data so if you didn't understand what what i just did i made another helper function that simply loads the values and just sends it back so this is how you actually read the values that have been returned so this is almost going this is going to work the same way and so right now we can then get the users right there as well so we get the bank data once more right and now we can make an embed so discord embed embed then their name sorry title so the title is going to be f string ctx.author.name cdx.author.name this bank account so balance i can just say and for the color i can just have something like discord of color red so i'm going to have the red color and for m for the fields embed.add field you could also add a thumbnail like their name you could do a lot of stuff with embeds if you don't know how to work with embeds the link will be in the description below or also in the cards you can just see that video for in depth explanation about embeds so we'll add a name so the name will be um so the wallet and the value will be so let's just access this first before we make the embed so the wallet amount so the wallet amount is remember we stored it like this just copy this that's it because we will be storing this like that we can just access that so that's all it's almost the same for the bank as well so bank account uh, bank amount sorry bank amount is that so let's add this in the value is the wallet amount and inline can be set to the default let's just copy this and call this bank you can or you can say wallet balance and bank balance it should be bank amount and just send that embed then cdx await cdx.send 
the embed the embed as like this so this is gonna be our balance and let's also make one way of earning so this is gonna be what I'm gonna do in this video so let's say let's call this command the back command and this lets you just give someone money so I'm just gonna import random because we'll be using this to give random amounts of money and simply beg cdx we will do the same stuff in the starting we can just get this three lines of code and so we open an account for them if they don't have one then we get the users this is their wallet this is just we'll be using this to change their amount so let's just put this at the back okay so let's do our um, command inside let's make a earnings variable it's gonna store how much we earned which is just gonna be random dot rand range so this is how much money you want to give them so I'm gonna give them anywhere from between 0 to 100 coins and then we can say we can await cdx dot send someone gave you let's f string this coins so let's just add some exclamation marks and now we will just add that much to the wallet so plus equals earnings and then we'll simply just store that so this is how we store that and you can also make another helper function for storing bank data but I'm just gonna do this for now and save that so this is all the code let me run the bot and I'll be back when I run the bot so we need to do something first before we run the bot um, in open account we actually need to um, make the list uh, make the make another dictionary inside of this inside of the user so this needs to be done so we'll be able to then access the wallet and then the bank so make this first and also since we were copying some code we did not do some stuff so just make sure that you do user equal to cdx.author because we are using user in this place so cdx.author let's also copy this and paste this in bag and let me run the bot and then we'll meet so the bot is ready now and we can actually check by doing ebalance and as you can see the bot sends an embed with our balance and let's try to beg and see what happens and let's see if they actually gave us the coins and if I go back and do balance as you can see our wallet has been upgraded updated and if you want to see the JSON file this is the JSON file this is how it's stored inside of these um, inside of the main file it's just more dictionaries with the user ID so this is how to do an economy system so this is part one if you hit if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe and when I hit when this video hits 20 likes I'll make the next part for this for this series and I'll meet you next time goodbye